Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and it's my Coca-Cola 600 predictions, is let me just go on, I haven't played NASCAR Heat Mobile in a long time. Today was, um, the Indianapolis 500, so I'm on Paginal, if I pronounced that correctly, won the race. So let's go to Charlotte, and uh, Lewis Hamilton won Monaco, so, well, at least one race to Coca-Cola 600. I'll give you my picks, is let me just get, um, this right here. Uh... So anyways, um, this said, you know, the Indianapolis 500 was good. I couldn't watch it. I was out running there and stuff. So, um, what I have to say about it, I didn't watch Monaco because I, I just, I don't wake up that early to watch Monaco. So, um, it was pretty good. You know, I thought Alexander Rossi was going to win this. And probably some of you, because my audience is mostly NASCAR, if you, uh, some of you might not know who Simon Pagenaud is, or Alexander Rossi, they are IndyCar drivers, and, yeah. At one point, um, uh, what's his name, Joseph Garden looked like he was gonna win the race. I was watching it, but, uh, on NBC Sports app, but since I don't really have my full prescription, I only could watch, like, half, like, only, like, for 30 minutes. So, um, heard it on the radio, I mean... It's a good race, you know. So, uh, let's talk about the 600. My picks, I go with Kyle Busch every week. That's one pick. Harvick, I go with Harvick. I think, honestly think, Alex Bowman, this might be his night. I never can kind of ask, I never call out Alex Bowman anymore. Chase Elliott, could, I feel like it could be his night. Jimmy, I'd love to see Jimmy get back to victory lane. Harvick is a good pick. Truex is a good pick. I mean, anyone from Penske and Joe Gibbs, let's be honest, is a good pick. Um... So, yeah, here's Kyle Busch right now. He's been the same car since 2016. I mean, come on, Kyle. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's just, um, I'd love to see, like I said, uh, this guy win, right? I'm battling with congratulations in the middle. And I like to thank everybody for the view that All-Star Race got. Um, that was, I just want to thank everybody who watched that video. That was a good amount of views. So, you know, it's just what I really want to see. From the All-Star Race. I mean, oh my gosh. The so Coca-Cola 600. I would like to see a new winner. I would like, it's just 2017. How, um, Austin Dillon won, but at the same time, we're probably not going to see a new winner. i love to see Alex Bowman is a garage pick for me. That's why I'm driving as Alex Bowman. Actually, that's really the only car I drive in this game. He's a good pick. He's a good pick. For the last couple weeks, he's been a great pick. Hendrick, i love to see Jimmy Johnson win, like I said. Brack is like, like Team Pitsky Joe Gibbs. So, you know, those are good picks. Now I might do another race here because, uh, you know, they got plenty of time. So those are, you know, those are decently good picks. I, I didn't even draft in this race. Um, so, um, you know, this is a good day in sports. You know, I don't, you know, it's the 60th winning. I feel like that doesn't get attention. Like, I'm not sure if it was just me, but like the 2018 uh, day total 500, the 60th. I feel like that didn't get any attention compared to the 50th anniversary. I mean, if you go watch, go watch the 2008 Daytona 500. My goodness. I mean, the gold Daytona logo, all these people, the people that were still alive from the 1958 Daytona 500. That was interesting to see. You know, maybe they'll bring up a couple people. I want to give credit real quick to NBC's broadcast. Okay, for the IndyCar, real quick, uh, let me talk about IndyCar. So, um, I want to get, they had Danica Patrick. Um, it's an ad, okay. okay. Um, alright, I'll, I'll come back when the ad's over. Okay, okay, the, okay, the uh, ad's over. So, I'm trying to make this video short. And, um, it's just, I mean... Danica was on there, Dale Jr. was on there, which I thought he had more, well, I believe Marty Snyder was on there as well. You know, you expect more out of these guys than, um, we'll go to Daytona, I'll just race one more race. So, um, I wanted, uh, I don't really, like, ask for the followers on Instagram or something, but I made this post today. Um, I, at the end of this video, I'll show you my Instagram page, because I would... I um if you don't ha guys have to do this because you guys don't have to do this, but check out my Instagram page. Um, I put put a recent po uh post on it. I like to get a little bit more likes on it. I know that sounds. You know what? Just maybe check me out on. Okay, back. You know, you you don't have to. But back to the 
So NBC's broadcast was pretty good. Danica Patrick was on there. Um, honestly, don't know how she got, but you know, Dan Danica Patrick is good marketing for indie sport. I mean, really. I mean, just think about. It. I mean, she's always on everything, and you just you know, um, Dale Jr. is obviously now great marketing. So you got two former NASCAR drivers on there. Then you got one guy, um, famous sportscaster. I don't know. You know, the broadcasting, what I saw was good for the race. I mean, very and exciting. Uh, very exciting. And there was one guy, I don't know his name, but you get any car fans, you're going to know his name. He's like, oh my gosh, that's him. You know, he's been very good. So, um, NBC's first year, good. I mean, thumbs up, NBC. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for you guys. That broadcast was good. But there's one guy, I clearly remember doing walk into Glen. I, um, a couple years ago, and I don't want to be rude or anything to any to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, classic IndyCar fans' feelings. But he, you know, he was, when Rick Allen, I have no idea what happened with Rick Allen. Um, he was, like, gone a couple races, and they got this one guy from IndyCar filling in for him. He did not do a good job. I, no, never mind, never mind, because I don't want to hurt, I don't want to, I don't want to get, um, my opinion about him, because... Just, you know, but, um, anyways, so I'm going to be watching the 600 tonight, as usual. As I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this video, you're actually going to win the Daytona 500. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, this video. I hope you guys, um, tune in for tonight's Coca-Cola 600. Um, thank you guys for watching. I, pre I appreciate it. And I will, I will see you next time. Bye.